just to share the Christmas. For more than 25 years, I have some extremely tolerant neighbors. In fact, as my display extends into my neighbor's yards on both sides and across the street as well. Dr. John Higginbotham's home on Horseshoe Trail in southeast Huntsville. I've just grown a little bit every year until it hits some sort of a toxic level and uh, self-ignited. <laughs> was a Christmas fantasy land for three generations. Young couples carrying their children telling me that their parents brought them here when they were carried in their arms, and I think that it has become that much of a tradition is, is really very humbling to me. A sign thanking everyone for celebrating his Christmas magic all those years has replaced the decorations. It became a full-time hobby after he retired. But it was a passion. Dr. Higginbotham died after surgery in March. Friends offered to help his family continue the tradition. Like what was involved? It was literally a year-round project and all kinds of electrical stuff and drawings and he and Bob Hodges worked all the time. Like there's no, no way yeah. that we could possibly do it. It was his Christmas production. You know, I mean, it, he created a lot of this. He knew what he wanted and it was in his head and heart. There's no way we could do it. His Christmas creations now live with other families. We gave it to them free just to share the Christmas spirit and magic with other people. Many of us will miss stopping by. He did it to share, you know, with, other, with others that Christmas magic that he felt as a child and as an adult. He was just full of it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. One of a kind. Piece of work. <laughs> we can hold on to the look of winter wonderment on the faces of our children as they walked around his driveway and yard. As sad as it is yeah. and hard as it is when somebody you love is gone, their spirit is right there. His Santa boots sit right below a teddy bear created out of one of his old flannel shirts. Higgs' Christmas spirit will live on. We're really happy about that, and, I, and he would be. Yes, he would. He would want it to go on and be used. He'd be pleased to know he's still bringing holiday joy to the community. Absolutely, yes. he's, sprinkled he every, he's sprinkled everywhere. <laughs> In Huntsville. And I, I love that. Yeah. Jerry Hayes, WHNT News 19.